Hello everyone, this is Syed and today I'm going to show you how to uh, create an instance in Google Cloud so that you guys can use GPU to solve your homework problems. So the first thing you have to do is you have to go to uh, console.cloud.com slash education and then we are going to be uh, giving you a coupon via email and once you get that coupon you have to put this coupon in this page and you can select yes or no and then accept and continue. Since I already have my coupon in, I will just go to the home page. You, once you enter the coupon, you will be directed to the home page. After you go to the home page, the first thing I need you guys to do is um, ensure that you're using, uh, uh, that your billing account reflects uh, the coupon. So click on the billing tab and uh, just make sure that you're in this account, CMP679 Deep Learning, and you should see about $50 in this, uh, in this account. So after you have ensured that, um, let us go to the home page again. And um, the next thing you have to do is you have to ask for a GPU. So the way you will do that is you will click on I am an admin, and you will click on this Cotus uh, button. Once you're in this CODIS button, um, you should uh, click on this metric tab and click none and look for NVIDIA KAD GPUs. So select NVIDIA KAD GPUs, not the other one, preemptive, preemptible NVIDIA KAD GPUs. So once again, select NVIDIA KAD GPUs and from the region, select none and select US West 1. So now you can see we have narrowed down the search and I already have one GPU allocated for myself, but you will see zeros. So what you have to do is click on this uh, checkbox and click on edit quotas. Once you're in the edit quotas, you have to type in a phone number. So let me just type in a dummy phone number. Um, and then you would have to uh, give a limit. So for this class, we're going to be using one GPU and say I need, uh, I need GPUs to uh, do my deep learning assignments for CMP 679. And then you click done and you submit the request and uh, within some few minutes you should be getting an email saying that your GPU has been allocated. So once you get that email, the next thing you should do is um, go to the home page and then click on Compute Engine, VM Instances. And then once you're in the VM Instance page, we're going to be creating a virtual machine. So click on Create. You can name your machine anything. Mine here says the default one, Instance 1. For the zone, you should click on West, US West 1B. Uh, machine type, we're selecting eight CPUs. And after you select the eight CPUs, uh, let me show, that, show it to you once again. After you select eight CPUs, click on Customize. After Customize, click on GPUs and select one. So uh, this will only show up once you get a GPU allocated. Uh, so select one and then NVIDIA Tesla K80. And then, and then after that, after that, click on boot disk. And once you're in the boot disk, uh, you should go to custom images. You should go to custom images and then uh, in the custom images, you should see uh, CMP679 uh, in, in this tab, which we have created for you. So select CMP679, make sure the size here is 50 gigabytes, and then click on select button. And then after that, um, click on allow HTTP traffic, allow HTTPS traffic, and just make sure everything is the way I have set up here. So you can take a note of this dollar value here. So it says effective hourly rate is 0 0.584. So since you have $50 uh, in credit, you should 
be getting about 100 hours of GPU. So, um, so that's, um, uh, that's enough to do the homework assignments. And that's where I will give you a warning here that every time you start an instance, make sure you stop the instance using this stop button from the home page. If you don't stop the instance, your account still gets billed and you will lose your credit very quickly. So um, while this sets up, the next step that we have to do is we have to expose some ports for this, um, for this instance. So the way you have to do it is go to the home page and go to the networking tab, which is uh, further down. So here's the networking tab, click on VPC network and click on firewall rules. In here, we have to add one rule. So you can see that I already have one rule added here, CMP679. Let me just take you through the process of how to create a rule. So I clicked on create a fire rule and name, some, name it something, CMP679, that's what I named mine. Um, let's name it something just for demo right now. And then network is default, and then don't modify any of these settings, priority, direction of traffic, you would have to change this target, change it to all instances in the network. And then source filter is the same. And then source IP ranges, you would have to type 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0. And then the last thing you have to edit is in here, specified protocols and ports, you have to type TCP 8888 and then a semicolon. And then you would have to type TCP 6006. So this 8888 is for Jupyter Notebook and this 6006 is for TensorBoard. So make sure these settings look like the one I've shown you here. And once you have this setting down, click on Create. Once you click Create, uh, your instance should be able to, um, you should be able to access your instance from anywhere. So let's go and start our instance. I will go back to the home page again. Um, and in your home page, um, go back to Compute Engine again and click on click on VM instances. After you click on VM instances, um, mine is showing it's still uh, creating the thing. So let's try refreshing the page. So as you can see, uh, my instance has been created. There is a there is a check mark to it. So let's the way we start this instance is, um, or the way we would SSH into this instance is we will click this button. So once you click this button, uh, this opened up instantly for my machine because I have allowed uh, the pop up. But you might get like a pop up block. So make sure uh, you allow that pop up for Google Cloud. So we are waiting here for the SSH to go in. So now that, now that you're in the machine, you can see that uh, we are in a terminal. If you type ls, it will show you which files we have in the terminal. Um, this, this instance is all set up for you with uh, Cafe, Cafe2, TensorFlow, and PyTorch. If you want to see if you want to see that they're there, you can type this command, sudo docker images. And you can see that we have cafe, PyTorch, and then TensorFlow. This cafe GPU has cafe and cafe2. So now that you're here, uh, what I want you to do is just test um, that all these frameworks are working. The way you would test it is uh, pretty much similar to what we have done so far in the homeworks. So you will type in a docker command. Uh, the only bit different in this Docker command is we're adding a different argument that we're going to show you right now. So you type sudo. Let's say we're going to test right now cafe, okay? So you will type sudo docker run, and then you're going to type dash dash runtime equals NVIDIA. Since we're running on GPUs, that's the extra argument that we have to add. After that, it's all the same argument uh, from the homework, dash dash rm, dash it, dash p. So 
uh, since we're using Jupyter, we have to expose this 888 port, dash P8888, and then dash V, that's where we have to mount. We're mounting our uh, home, home directory, so that's where our Jupyter notebooks are. So let's mount the home directory to the workspace directory of the container. And then after that, all we have to do is type the uh, Docker container's name. So here, let's say if I'm going to test cafe. So I'm going to type cmp679 slash cmpe679 colon cafe gpu. And enter. After you have pressed enter, uh, within, within some seconds, you should see you're now in the container. And then in the container, you should type Jupyter notebook dash dash allow root. And then you would type an extra argument here, which is IP. You will type IP equals 0 0.0.0.0. .0 and press enter. And then once you press enter, you should be getting the link that Jupyter notebook will give you. So here's my link. You copy this link and you paste it. But after you paste it, you would have to replace this 0.0.0.0 with this external IP that you will get from the instance page. And there you go. Once you reach this part, since we're in the cafe container, click on the cafe notebook and, and then run the code to ensure that everything is working. This is just an MNIST uh, training code and everything should be working right out of the box when you run, this, uh, when you run these uh, notebooks. So um, that's pretty much it. Let me just show you quickly um, what to do after you're done, um, after you're done working with the notebook. Uh, so that reminds me to tell you that once you're in the, this is one thing that I want, want you to note down is um, how, how, we are, how we are mounting the home folder. So for instance, uh, this is our Google Cloud and um, we are going to be supplying you with uh, files for each homework, right? So that's why it's very important for you to note down that we're mounting uh, this home folder after dash V, we're mounting, so we're mounting this home folder to the workspace folder, and then we're starting the container. Once we're in the container, when we start Jupyter Notebook, uh, we'll be able to upload our files through Jupyter Notebook. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to be uploading our homework files through the Jupyter Notebook. So. It's asking me for the token, so let's give it the token. Uh, let's copy it from here. Uh, token copied and then paste it here. So now we're in the Jupyter Notebook. Let's say we have given you some files and you, you would have to upload it in the container. So let's say, let me see if I have any file. Uh, so, Let's upload uh, this test notebook.ipimb. Okay, and then I'm uploading this. And my notebook is uploaded. And let's assume that you have already worked uh, on the notebook. You can um, download this notebook just the same way you have done it for the previous assignments. Um, later, uh, later in the Later in the uh, homework, we're going to be, let's say, we can write something like uh, zip. Uh, if we will give, we'll be uh, giving you a script which will zip everything, that you, zip all the work that you have done. So, um, so for instance, if I say zip, uh, I already have test notebook in my folder, in my uh, Jupyter uh, uh, interface. So if I say zip test notebook, you'll see that um, let's see. Um, well, uh, 
or let's say if I just use tar, okay? If I use tar, um, uh, the way you do tar is dash C V X F, I think. Uh, let's see, uh, tar a, a file. Let's just quickly get the tar command for uh, compressing a file, CZFF, okay. So tar CZFF, tar CZFF, and then I will have to uh, give it a name and the file. So let's go to the folder. As you can see, uh, I already have a test.tar. So uh, don't worry about this that I have shown you right now. Uh, what the, the code that we're gonna give you is going to zip everything that you have, that you have done here and it will give you a zip file. So you will just click on that zip file and then as you can see, you get a download box and you'll download that zip and then you upload it to my courses. So that, that was the whole purpose of showing you how uh, the next four homeworks, how you're going to be able to use this efficiently. Um, so now that I have shown you how to work through the Jupyter, uh, let me, lastly, let me just show you uh, that you can, here I have run uh, CMP679 Cafe GPU, you could, you could have run CMP679 PyTorch uh, GPU. And then, um, as we can see from the previous output, we have a TensorFlow container as well. So you would have typed, you would have typed um, TensorFlow slash TensorFlow 1.5 point zero dash gpu dash pi three. This is the command you would have typed. I'm going to give this command to you for every homework. So uh, make sure you read the readme of every homework. After you're done with working with your homework, this is the most important step. You exit out of the shell and then you make sure that you close your instance. This is very important. Otherwise, uh, we don't we only have $50 credit for you and it's too late in the semester right now to ask for extra credits from Google. So make sure that uh, you save those GPU hours to successfully complete all the last homeworks of your class. So that's it guys. Uh, if you have any problem, uh, make sure you create a thread in my course discussion and I'll try to help you as much as possible. Thank you.